When you hear the words man-made global warming, what do you think? Is it true? Our media and most of our politicians and educators would have us to believe that it is, but is it? Or is it a deception? Anybody recall the Ice Age scare of the 70s when our recognition-seeking pop scientists, politicians, and journalists warned us that we were headed for an Ice Age? Didn't happen, did it? Guess that was a deception. How about Y2K? That's when the experts believed the entire world would be thrown into confusion as all computers would self-destruct as they tried to figure how to change to the new century. It didn't happen, did it? I guess that was a deception. In 1998, a petition was created by American physicist, the late Frederick Seitz, that claimed that while our climate may indeed be warming, man is not the cause. It was signed by 31,000 scientists, 9,000 had PhDs. As I'm writing this, for the last 11 years, the climate has been cooling. That said, we do agree that over time, it may get warmer. We base that not on man's consensus, but on scripture. For we're told that before Jesus returns, it's going to get real hot. Revelation chapter 16 verse 8 speaks of what it will be like shortly before our Lord Jesus returns. It reads, The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and the sun was given power to scorch people with fire. That's not man-made global warming. That's God-made global warming. So let's be realistic. To even think that man who can't stop mudslides, avalanches, hurricanes, volcanic eruptions, or cause it to rain where and when he wants it to, can somehow control the temperature of the entire planet, is pure nonsense. Maybe you believe as we do. Maybe you do not. And that's okay. Whatever happens, our God is in control. But when our politicians, our educators, and our journalists who often repeat what they do not know, it just makes one wonder if man-made global warming is just another ice age, another Y2K, another deception. <laughs>